Hello, this is Laura Dovalo. I'm so glad you joined me. Today we're making this simple volvel or rotating disc card. As you can see, when we turn the wheel, the dragonfly's wings change color. I went with some basic rainbow ink blending, but you could of course use whatever color combination you prefer. Let's start by stamping the cute image from the new JB Wings and Wishes set on a piece of acetate. Off camera I brushed over it with some cornstarch and now I'm using Stason Jet Black ink to get a good long lasting impression. I think it's the first time that I get a perfect image on the first try. Acetate can be a bit tricky so it must be the starch. Off camera I also stamped it on a piece of Copic friendly cardstock with extreme black hybrid ink and next I used the matching die to cut it out of a piece of paper which I'm now using as a template to get a perfectly spaced die cut. If you have the dragonfly stamp but not the die you could stamp the image directly on your panel and use a craft knife to cut out just the wings. Later you would fussy cut the image without the wings and adhere it on top. It would look even better. I forgot to mention that I backed it with score tape before die cutting the image. Ok, let's move on to the rotating wheel for a moment. Off camera I used the largest die from the new stitched eyelet lace circle stacks dynamics to cut two discs which I stacked with liquid glue. I also die cut the circle out of printer paper and folded it in half and then again in half to be able to punch a hole in the center of it. And now to figure out the placement of my dragonfly shaped window on this piece of cardstock that I blended with peeled paint, broken china and tumbled glass distress oxide ink off camera. I want to die cut both the panel and the window at the same time. You could choose any other image as long as the color changing surface fits inside of the circle that you're using for the wheel. For example a butterfly, an angel or even the classic chameleon. Before moving on let me just file the edges of the window to get rid of paper burr. Here I'm peeling off the backing of the strips of double sided tape so that I can adhere the acetate to the back of my panel. Let's center it as well as possible before we press down on it. There we go. And now I need to trim that upper edge that's hanging off my panel. Ok, we can grab our stamped image from before which I colored off camera. You can see the Copic colors that I used in the description box below the video. So let's get rid of those wings. It'll look a little strange now with that stark contrast of the white outline against the colorful background but we can fix that later. Now we can peel off the backing and adhere our little gnome and the firefly's body in its place. The next step is optional since we've already covered the part that we don't want to change colors but if we're using an image of let's say a chameleon then we could mask small white parts of the image like its eyes by applying white permanent marker or acrylic paint with a tiny brush on the back of the acetate. As you can see when I put my hand behind the window you can only see it through the outline parts of the wings. That's what I was looking for and now that I think about it I could have used blue acrylic paint to match the background. We're ready to punch a hole in our panel which I immediately regretted so you may want to do it directly on your card base instead. I just rubbed the hole with my nail and later added a little clear enamel dot on top of it to fix this mistake. Next let's punch a notch on the right side of our panel and card base. If you don't have a 1 inch hole punch you could just use a die. After so many interactive cards my hole punch is clearly losing its sharp edge. Here I'm stamping a little prompt from the interactive label stamp set just above the notch. As I said in the beginning you can choose whatever color combo you want for your ink blending and it doesn't have to be perfect. 
I also wanted the colors to have some shine, so I added some droplets of diluted pearl and gold water-based pigment. So, let's move on to the assembly of our card. We'll need the card base, rotating disc, a little brad, the main panel, the beautiful flowers, and the sentiment. Mine is from Stacy Jacula's Beauty of Spring set. We'll also need some foam tape in the corners of our panel so that they don't interrupt the rotation of the wheel. And we're almost done. Let's just add the finishing touches. The flowers, the little banner, and here's where I had the idea to color the white outline with Copic markers B91 and B93. Let's try it out one more time before I say goodbye. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Thank you so much for staying until the end. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, I'll gladly get back to you. Bye bye. Hasta la próxima.